welcome my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for my lovely sagittarius sun moon rising and venus i want to wish you guys happy holidays we are in the holiday season yay so exciting um anyways i also want to let you guys know if you guys hear noise in the background as that i apologize I live by the mountains and it is extremely freaking windy right now. So anyways, let's get into your reading Sagittarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020. Happy birthday to you guys as well, my lovelies. Okay. Whoa, we're starting off with the seven of swords. We have the emperor card here, the four of wands, and the hanged man. Okay. I feel you guys are feeling a bit restrictive for some of you guys. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries. For others, you may be dealing with a Leo, uh, Sagittarius like yourself. Um, Pisces is also here. Um, what they're saying here with the Seven of Swords is there's almost a feeling of, I feel that you guys are experiencing like, not really being able to trust people at the moment or feeling like you have to watch your back. Uh, specifically, if you are dealing with an Aries, I feel that like you feel very defensive and you're feeling like almost like walking in eggshells. And it could be in connection with a family dynamic. This could be your family. This could be your relatives. And it's almost a feeling of like people are out to get you is what I'm hearing. Um, now with the hanged man, what they're telling you here, uh, Sagittarius is that there's a need for you. Um, there's a need for you to gain a different type of insight or a different perspective. I feel that what they're showing me here, it's almost like you continuously decide to make certain choices in your life where perhaps relatives or family members or people around you um, criticize or you feel like they're criticizing or like they're judging. But I feel that it's coming from from a good place. I feel that it's coming from, from love and they're trying to help you or they're trying to, uh, they're, they're literally trying to watch your back. And it's almost like you're protecting or you're very defensive from them because you feel like it's them who are trying to attack you or judging you. Um, and for some of you guys, this could, this could just be miscommunication. But with the hanged man, what Spirit is telling you is you need to open your eyes. You need to see clearly exactly um, the choices that you make and how it impacts other people. Uh, now, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading so for some of you guys it's the need to learn to stand up for yourself the need to have to speak up when it's necessary now for others you need to learn to take advice and take it wholeheartedly and don't don't take that advice as a personal attack because for some of you guys, it's almost like with the Emperor and the Four of Wands, it's like those around you are wanting structure in your life or they're wanting stability for you. But yet you're refusing, um, whether it's because of ego or whether it's because of, again, the feeling that they're very judgmental. Um, the Seven of Swords indicates, you know, sneaky behavior. But I feel that this is more your energy like feeling that other people um, are being sneaky or are being petty. Uh, but what Spirit is telling you is you got to take a step back and really analyze because at the end of the day, um, those that are really for you are going to be there for you throughout <clears throat> whether you guys have disagreements or not. They're always going to have your back. And I feel that for some of you guys, it could even be like a situation where there was some type of divorce, some type of separation. And it's almost like a feeling of like uh, your kids maybe uh, feeling like they don't understand you or they're not taking your side. And what Spirit is telling you here uh, with the hanged man, you need to take a step back and fully analyze um, and, and really understand uh, what is unfolding uh, sometimes you know and it happens 
more often than not um, that people are trying to give you advice and because we're so connected with ego or we just don't want to deal with it or we just you know we want to march to the beat of our own drum we we take it personal we feel like they're criticizing when in reality they're not uh, they're wanting nothing but the best for you and that's the reason why you may feel like they're being very intrusive in your life um, now for others of you you could have been dealing with an Aries or a Pisces type of energy um, where there were some lies or some type of deception. Um, it could have been that you were, uh, what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, you were dealing with an individual that had sparked your interest or you were very intense and passionate about. There was some type of connection here. Uh, but I think that you allowed other people to get the best of you or to get in your head. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, it's like they weren't being completely transparent or they weren't being completely honest. And you were walking towards uh, wanting some type of connection or wanting to make this connection actually happen. Uh, and for some reason, um, people that were around you or the person of your interest started like putting things in your head or they started putting things in their head that it completely drew them back. And there is lack of communication here because of that. So what they're telling you, if you are dealing with a situation like this, what they're saying here is you got to believe in yourself, be confident in yourself, and don't allow other people to change your mind. Um, especially when we're dealing with other people, it often happens where, as an example, if you're getting to know someone um, and then you get friends, right, and they start telling you certain things about them or uh, even like trying to shine a bad light on them or something. It's uh, And in reality, they have hidden motives. It could be that the, the person that's telling you these bad things about the person that you were interested in, in fact, was interested in them and they didn't give them the time of day. So it's like they're telling you uh, certain things about them to kind of turn you off from them. Uh, and what they're what they're showing here is with the four of wands, there is promise for something long term here or uh, this connection can actually be a very strong connection. But I feel that you're letting uh, people get too involved in this situation or allowing people to get in your ear, Sagittarius. So let's see what spirits direct message is to you in regards to the situation. Uh, spirits, what is the message? What is the direct message you want to share with Sagittarius for this situation, this current situation? Oh, okay. So we have, oh, we have two cards. Stop fucking whining. <laughs> no one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. Stop effing whining. And no one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world. So do it. I feel that for some of you guys, um, if you guys are directly connecting with this situation uh, where you felt like people were either getting in your ear or they kind of turned you off from a person that you were interested in. Um, like, if you're really interested in, in this person, like stop over analyzing or going through it in your head and take action take your power back don't allow other people um this is something i always tell my clients like if you're gonna judge someone you don't know like deal with them and then make that judgment like we're no one to judge right but we do that anyways so what i'm saying is don't allow other people experience with that person affect the way you see them especially if you don't know them or if you're just getting to know them like give them the benefit of the doubt to show you people always show their character so again um now your next card here is you are giving too many fucks and the past is give zero you can see that here you're giving too many fucks give zero so again i feel that for some of you guys you've allowed people to either affect your energy or affect a connection that you were dealing with or you were interested in. For others of you, uh, it could be that the situation where they're saying um, in regards to family dynamic and people like giving you advice or uh, getting meddling 
uh, in your life. Again, like I said, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. But if you are in the situation where you care too much what people say or what they have to say, you have to take your power back. Um, now, if this is, uh, if you know for a fact that you've tried to, like I said, march to the beat of your own drum and you have a tendency of being more rebellious, um, take the messages or the advice that they give you and really sit with it. Don't connect your ego to that, but take a step back and analyze like, where is this advice coming from? Is it to the best of your interest or is it to the best of their interest? And you can make or discern that um, by really analyzing if it's an advice that it's going to benefit you, then obviously it's to the best of your interest. So again, uh, I feel that for a lot of you guys, there is like a lot of changes happening around you. And I feel that a lot of you may be dealing with a lot of people or surrounding yourself with a lot of people. Uh, that are influencing the way you see certain situations or uh, the way you're seeing a, a specific individual. So I hope this, this gives you kind of some type of insight. I want to wish you guys happy holidays and we'll see each other soon. Bye.